my friends, it's Bella and welcome to my Thought for Sunday. And can I say at the start, thank you so much for the wonderful response that I've got for these videos. I am just so chuffed to bits. Um, I've only made two so far and I can deal with quite controversial subjects, but um, thank you for your encouragement. Thank you so much for your encouragement. and. For, you know, asking me to carry on and that you're enjoying it. I was wondering how it would go because obviously I, I'm a shopping, makeup, beauty, get rid of me channel. Um, but, and it's quite different, is it? I can deal with some quite controversial things and I was worried about how, how you would receive it. But thank you so much. Thank you so much because I think it's some... Um, it's just a way of sharing a little bit more of me with you, a little bit more of the person I am and so forth with you. And things that I feel strongly about. Um, because, you know, I I adore makeup. Oh, my goodness. Makeup is, you know, makeup is, I love it. I mean, it's just my thing and I absolutely love it, but it doesn't keep me up at night, you know. It's... <laughs> it's uh it's just enjoyable and uh i just sort of wanted as well to you for you to get to know me a little bit better in the things that are important to me which is why i've done this and thank you again thank you so much for accepting me again you know i'm so pleased that i can do it but you know I, I feel i've got your blessings to do it so thank you okay so my subject for this week and what i wanted to talk about this week was forgiveness and mostly, how good am I at it? <laughs> um, you know, I needed to work on it. I need to work on it. In some aspects, I need to work on it. And I'll, I'll try to explain to you what I mean by that. Jesus said, didn't he, when he was on the cross, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. I do try to follow his example, but I'm not very good at this one. <laughs> it's something I need to work on. I'll tell you how, how I feel I need to work on that. If someone is genuinely sorry for something, if someone has done something, how do I forgive? In what cases do I forgive? And should I always forgive? I'll try and split it down to how... I mean, I don't literally do this every time, but it's sort of a thing that I mean to do, um, how I deal with things, I guess. I try to have two categories to start with, intentional and non-intentional, yeah? Yeah. I try to have, and that's really important. For me, that is really important. You know, me, my daughter takes after me, my youngest daughter, we're both complete cluts. <laughs> we both can be airheads, absolutely. Sometimes she comes, she'll turn up, you know, at my house and she's come from me and I'll say to her, Becca, have you bought that thing? Uh, you know, you said you'd buy, you know, I really need it. <laughs> oh, no, Mum, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mum, I haven't. Oh, my goodness, I've forgotten. I get that because she gets that from my mum. I do that all the time. Now, it might be something that was really crucial, that I really needed, that was really important at that time. But she said sorry. She forgot it. She's human. She's got my genes, so she takes after me. Um, do I get angry or am I annoyed? No, no. Do I forgive and forget? Of course, of course. It's not intentional, it's not purposely done. Um, how about, you know, I'll say to Baz, record that for me, record that show for me, you know, when I'm out or whatever. I get home, I sit down, have a nice cup of tea now and watch that show. Oh my goodness, I was supposed to take that show, wasn't I? Do you know what I mean? Something that's 
absolutely, innocently, airheadedly done. Um, yeah, every time I forget that. I don't have no problem forgiving or forgetting that. I really don't. How about things that are purposely done? Imagine, I was trying to think of a scenario that I could give you so that you could understand what I feel and, um, um, you know, where I'm coming from on this. Imagine that someone, a friend, a neighbour, a relation, had said that um, they would meet me um, in High Street, um, we'll go for coffee, they'll meet me outside such and such a place um, at such and such a time. Now on this day, it was pouring down the rain and it was freezing cold and the, the, I couldn't get inside the shop, so I had to wait outside. This is completely hypothetical and I was soaked. I was absolutely soaked to the skin um, and they never turned up. What if... When I phoned or, you know, I said, well, what happened? You know, imagine I phoned and said, well, what happened? Oh, I'm so sorry. Was it today? I am so sorry. I never meant to do that. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. That's, that's scenario one. What if scenario two is whoever the person is thought, um, oh, actually, I can't be bothered going there and I've got somewhere better to go. Um, oh, just let her know I forgot or just tell her I forgot. I mean, you know, it's not, who cares? It's, you know, I've got something better to do. Now, I'd be just as cold in both scenarios. I'd be just as wet in both scenarios. I would have waited exactly the same time in both scenarios. But one is much easier to forgive than the other because one is done unintentionally and one is done intentionally. And I think that's where I need to work on because at the end of the day, when Jesus said forgive them, they don't know what they do, that was done intentionally, wasn't it? He wasn't crucified accidentally or because of clumsiness. That was intention, intentional. And yet he still, he still could say, forgive them, they know not what they do. I find that hard. That's one of the things that I find really hard. Because, you know, if someone is going to Okay, so I've got these two lists, these hypothetical lists. One's intentional, one's not intentional. I've completely put aside the ones that are not intentional. You know, don't be silly, you don't have to be sorry, I know what you like, that sort of thing, yeah? So that's gone to one side. So I'm left now with the intentional list. Can I separate that? Yes, because... Even things that can be done to us intentionally can come from different places. We are not Christ. We're not Christ-like. We're not perfect. Sometimes we all feel annoyed, resentment, frustration, whatever it is we feel as human beings. And we can get angry and we can do things purposely. We can say, oh, leave her outside waiting. She can leave her, she deserves it. You know, we can do that. Everybody can do that to a certain level. So do we take, can we separate that from the person that is vindictive, vindictive enough to want you to get cold, to be in the rain, to, to let you down, to hurt you, to target that hurt. Can we separate the two? The one that even though it is intentionally done, it's done through... 
our own faults through humankind not being perfect, through feelings we have that we shouldn't have with annoyance and, you know, look, wanting to pay back things and... Yes, you can forgive it, you can forgive it, but I could never forget it. The ones that are done completely unintentional, I can forget. I forgive, forget, don't be silly, you know. The ones that are done intentional, but come from a place of maybe hurt or misunderstanding or any other natural human trait, yes, I can forgive. I can forgive that. and then, But I won't forget. I won't forget. The one that I have the trouble with is forgiving and forgetting purpose, purposely done things. I'm trying to find a, a thought that I can give you so that you understand what I mean. Some years ago, um, my daughter, my oldest daughter, um, had some problems with, with somebody, uh, her and her husband had some problems with a friend. And that friend retaliated in the most... In, it was nothing bad. It was just a disagreement on both sides. Just a disagreement. And that friend retaliated in the most awful way. And slandered my daughter. And, you know, it made her life very miserable. Very, very miserable over something that... You know, they were trying to prove right and um, my daughter didn't want nothing to do with and, and so forth and, and, and her husband. Um, I don't remember her at the time, how she felt and what she was going through. This is, this is the one I had to travel with. That was purposely done. That was purposely set out vindictive to hurt them. I can't forget that and I can't forgive it. I, this is this is the problem that I have being trying to be and work on myself and hearing the words forgive them father they know not what they do. That part of that I find really really hard i am a forgiving person i am a really really loving person and i don't you know at all hold grudges on things that are so minute and so petty and sometimes even bigger i, I don't but when something's done absolutely as if it's targeted like an arrow to hurt. Not through any anything I'd done or they'd done or anything, just because the person wants to hurt, as this person did to my daughter. No, I can't. And I want to I want to follow Jesus' example more, but I can't do that one. Um, I can't, I can't, especially if it's my children. I just, I find that really, really difficult. Um, so what I try to do is I just try to avoid those situations. I try not to dwell on those situations. Um, you know, life is life. But that's what I need to work on on myself is forgiving people that purposely are vindictive. I can forgive all the others, even the ones that have done it intentional. I won't forget it. As I said, I won't forget it, but I forgive. And certainly people who haven't done something intentional, certainly people that do things just because they're cluts and they forgot or whatever, yeah, I certainly forgive them. Certainly, and forget, and forget. The others, I can forgive, but not forget. 
but the the last few and there's only ever really a few of those in, in the whole of my life that I can say there was no reason to do what you've done there was no reason to hurt like you've hurt that I can't especially if it's done to my children especially if it's done to my children or my husband or my friends or anybody that I love I I find that really really difficult so it's kind of an own, own up shit this week I guess you know just to, to tell you that those are the things that that I fight with all the time um I do I do want to follow Jesus example very much but I've not got that one yet. I've not I've not got that one yet. So I hope you understand where I'm coming from guys. I really don't want our you know, my thought for Sunday ever to be um morbid or, you know, miserable, but that is something that I thought of and that's that's what I said I would do. It's something that's you know, I've thought of during the week and something that um you know was on my mind and I just thought that I'd share that with you, but um, is it, because we're all fighting our own demons, aren't we? We are, um, and we all need help, don't we? <laughs> um, so thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all your encouragement with these videos, and please, please let me know what you think about this. You know, what's your opinion? Do you, do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I should try in a different way? You know, because I, I know you guys all have got my best intention at heart and I know whatever you say to me will be, um, you know, big through kindness. So you can you can say anything at what you feel, you know, if you feel I'm right or wrong. Um, and if you've come along for the first time, it would be great if you could come back and, you know, join, join my friends and me because... Uh, we're a loving little channel. <laughs> so thank you for being here. I will see you again in my next video. You take care now and I love you all. Bye.